Welcome to I Learned a Thing in the Bathroom from Dollar Shave Club, where we explain something very complicated in mere minutes to occupy your brain while you shave. In this edition, we'll be discussing the biggest storms in the universe, as explained by someone who sounds smart because he's British. The biggest storm ever recorded on Earth struck surprisingly recently, Typhoon Tip, a tropical cyclone which struck Japan on October 19, 1979. This typhoon had a diameter of 1,380 miles. That's roughly half the width of the United States, and had sustained winds of 160 miles per hour, sometimes reaching as high as 190. As you might imagine, for a storm of this magnitude, it was incredibly dangerous responsible for killing at least 86 people, injuring hundreds and leaving tens of thousands homeless. It was, in all respects, an absolute monster. Here's a dumb question. You called it a typhoon and a cyclone. But what is a typhoon and what's a cyclone? Oh, that's easy. They're hurricanes. I see? They're basically all the same thing, but rather unscientifically, they're called different things depending where they are. Hurricanes occur in the Atlantic and Northeastern Pacific, typhoons take place in the Northwest Pacific, and cyclones are the preferred term in the South Pacific and the Indian Ocean. Neat. But what are they? Oh, they're all defined pretty much the same way. It's basically any violent storm with winds in a strong circular pattern blowing at a minimum of 72 miles per hour. So is Earth the only planet to have big storms? Lord no. You're probably familiar with Jupiter's Great Red Spot, that huge blemish on the side of our solar system's largest gas giant. But not everyone is aware that this spot is actually an enormous storm, nearly 25,000 miles across. That's big enough to engulf the entire Earth three times over. This storm towers five miles into the air and spins at 250 miles per hour, a staggeringly vast hurricane that has been blowing continuously, it's believed, since the mid-1600s. So about 350 years, give or take. Is that the craziest storm out there? The award for strangest storm would probably go to the hexagonal storm that revolves around Saturn's North Pole. Discovered by the Voyager mission in 1981, this striking six-sided storm is slightly smaller than Jupiter's red spot, at around 20,000 miles edge to edge. So, only big enough to swallow two Earths. But it more than makes up for it in height, ascending to an astonishing 60 miles high. Its wind speed, meanwhile, is almost double that of Typhoon Tip, at 330 miles per hour. Saturn's kind of a weird place, huh? It certainly is, as it's also home to another notable storm, the awesomely named Dragon Storm. A 2,000 mile wide beast that's constantly chucking out lightning bolts with a thousand times the power of anything you'd see on Earth. Space is so metal! Of course, none of these even come close to the power of our own sun's solar storms. The largest of these ever witnessed was the infamous Carrington event in 1859, in which a gargantuan coronal mass ejection, which is when the sun releases bursts of plasma and electromagnetic radiation, caused an epic geomagnetic storm on Earth that literally caused sparks to fly from the period's primitive electronic equipment. Scientists believe that if such an event happened today, which it very nearly did in 2012, with a similarly sized ejection just missing the Earth, it would knock out everything from our satellites to our electrical grid, leaving us lost in the dark. Today, I learned that it's a really bad idea to piss off the sun. Tune in next time for more I Learned a Thing in the Bathroom. And in the meantime, head to dollarshaveclub.com for more podcasts and a big old pile of grooming products.